and fellow Ugandans, the media fraternity, good afternoon to you all. Today, I'm compelled to communicate to you a message that is very sad for our country. Because this morning, we were informed that uh, a terrorist group attacked a school, a secondary school, in Mpondwe, near the border with DRC. They attacked, this school is a boarding school. Um, it is called uh, It is called Rubiliha Secondary School. Um, it is in a parish called Nyabugando, and uh, sometimes they call this Nyabugando Secondary School. In Karambi Subcounty, in Kasese District. This terrorist group killed 37 children altogether. Now we are told. The information is still coming in and it is still scanty, but that's the number we have. And apparently, they did not use guns to kill these children. There are two dormitories, the boys' dormitory and the girls' dormitory. The boys' dormitory had been locked. The boys locked the dormitory, uh, their dormitory, and they were in the dormitory. So the, this terrorist group couldn't enter. So they threw in uh, a bomb. They threw in uh, a petrol bomb. So these children were burnt completely. Now, the girls, on the other hand, opened the door and tried to run out. And this, this, this evil group got them and killed them with pangas. They didn't shoot, they didn't... Uh, with the girls, they killed them with pangas. So, the 17 children who were burnt in the dormitory are, are not easily recognized. So, however, um, the bodies were taken to the mortuary. And then the 20 girls uh, also were killed. Now we know that they were killed with pangas. This school is a private school. Apparently, it was built by an NGO led by somebody called Peter Hunter. This Peter Hunter is a Canadian. He works both in DRC and Uganda. So recently, apparently, his group sent in some auditors to this school, to this school. some auditors to audit the, 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 the finance that they, they've been sending to the school. And they, the auditors spent some two days in, at that school, auditing the books of the school. And uh, they finished 
on Thursday and left the school on Thursday and the children were killed on Friday. That's not to say that we, we relate these auditors being there, or, 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 but, but that those are the facts we have. There is also another point that, that came up, that uh, this school has been uh, in, uh, there has been groups in Kasese who wanted to take it over, but because the school was built by an NGO, there has been that conflict between those groups that wanted to take over the school and the NGO which actually built the school. So there was that background also. Those are facts that are, are not yet uh, very clear, but those are, that's the information that's, uh, that is coming in and that we have received so far. Now, I wanted to go this morning myself to be there to see and make some on-spot assessment to know exactly what really happened. But um, I was reminded that we are still in quarantine here, so I, I, I can't go. Therefore, I asked my colleague, Honorable Miyengo, who quickly flew to that area, to the school, with the permanent secretary for the Ministry of Education and the commissioner in charge of private schools to get to the grassroots and, and really find out more information so that we can know exactly what happened. The president also helped us with some support for the affected families to help to arrange the funerals and, uh, and help them to manage in this very difficult time. When Honorable Mingo comes back, we will get more information, obviously, and we will pass it on to the public. For now, however, the government, through the security agencies, is trying to follow up what actually happened, and it is on the top of the situation. We believe that justice will prevail. So on behalf of the government of Uganda and the Ministry of Education and Sports, and my own behalf, I express our sincere condolences and deepest sympathies to the bereaved families, the students, the staff of this school on this terrible tragedy. And apparently, there is another school in the area um, this one, there is another school, a Baptist, another Nyabugando Baptist secondary school in the area. It is a larger school, but that one is safe. Nothing happened to that one. And it shouldn't be confused with, with this other one. In this school, which was now, which the one we are talking about had 63 students only in the school. And now 37 have been killed. This other school, the Nyabugandu Baptist Secondary School, was a larger school. And uh, by God's grace, it is safe. It had some 700 students. 
that it's safe, nothing happened, so it shouldn't be mixed up with uh, this, this uh, other school that had a problem, Ruviriha, Ruviriha Secondary School. So there is uh, an impression that perhaps the, the terrorist group may have been used by the people who were fighting to take over the school to do what they have done. But that information will come out at a later stage because government is going to have to find out and get the actual information. For now, the government is in charge. The security agencies are trying to follow up and will get all the information. So really, I want to appeal to all people of goodwill in the country to pray for those families and the community in the area, parents across the country, Please do not panic, our children are safe, and they will remain safe. They are evil people, and they are trying to harm our children, but they will not manage all, all race. I am confident that the God we serve who sees all things, we lead the UPDF force to track down these evil people and they will pay for what they have done. I have no doubt in my mind that they will be found and they will pay for what they have done. But for now, I appeal to all of us to stay calm and to hold hands together, our hands together, and pray for this community in Kasese district so that God can empower them to go th through this very difficult time. And it is a difficult time for all of us as Ugandans, but God is not dead and he will lead our defense forces and they will track down these evil people and they will pay for what they have done. So I thought that this was urgent to inform the country so that they don't get confused with the, the messages that may not is similar that may come through different media houses. I want to thank you and God bless Uganda.